Welcome to Elemental Alchemy, Awakening Your Inner Shaman series. My name is Kelly Nazat, and I'm excited to introduce you to an extraordinary journey, the most powerful journey that I teach, that I practice. It is called the Inner Guide Meditation. The Inner Guide Meditation is an opportunity to meet with your personal guide. As we talked about in the introduction, each of us has guides to support our journey in this lifetime. And certainly when you are in the field of supporting others, when you are determined to help others, it is essential that you have mentors. It's essential that you have some support to guide you. In my practice, I both consult with my own guide and I consult with my clients' guides. And it's very intriguing the difference between me depending on my own wit, my own abilities, my own insight, versus asking advice from guides or asking for insight from guides, whether it's my guide or another's. And over the past 30 years now, I have found that having uh, the insight from your guide is, for me, absolutely essential. Now, what is a guide? A guide is um, a being, a spirit, uh, a person, if you will, uh, that has uh, has taken on the task of guiding you through this lifetime. If you look all around you in this matrix, in this existence, you see a very particular reality. And as you know now, this reality that you perceive as an objective reality is mostly a projection of your own beliefs about what this reality you're experiencing is. And we each carry these beliefs, and we each carry these bandwidth of, of perception. Each one of our ability to perceive what's happening in the world is in great part determined by epigenetic forces, the conditions around us, our environment, our history, our ancestry, our training, our backgrounds, our history our families, their beliefs, and even back into, as controversial as it is, even back into genetic predispositions that uh, are influences coming through our ancestries through our genetic expression. And while I know that this is a controversial idea or belief, there is something coming through that is more than us. So we have environmental influences and endogenous or internal influences. Each of those creates a very particular reality for us. And so one of the challenges in this work is how to get beyond your own knowing. If this work is about transcendence and moving beyond and evolving, we need to get beyond our own minds, our own field of perception in order to achieve that breakthrough. Your guide is that contact that you have that allows you to move outside of your own knowing. Just like with any of the active imagery work, it's an opportunity to transcend your own particular reactions to the world. And as simple and as easy as it is to simply imagine yourself communicating with a guide, 
the results you'll find are tremendous. The differences in trying to just figure it out and getting in your head and trying to sort out a problem you're having or a problem your client is having or a friend or family member or loved one is having can be very challenging because when we use our own ideas, which is important, they are limited. So the access to your guide is a way to get in touch with a higher level of insight. So now, I want to introduce you to the guided journey for meeting your inner guide. I want to introduce you initially to the pattern that we're going to take the journey ahead. First, we're going to go into the inner world and we're going to have you imagine, first of all, yourself in a beautiful place in nature. And I want you to choose something. That maybe the first thing that comes to mind is usually the best way to go. Because what your mind initially puts up in terms of an image is pulling from the database of all possibilities. And, you know, our minds are extraordinarily powerful. And so if I asked you to think of a beautiful place in nature, you can simply allow something to come to mind and just go with it without judging or trying to understand it or analyze why this particular thing came up. Again, when we do these meditations, the power in it is the ability to leave our analytical minds at the door. And of course, when we're done with the experience, we can pick up our analytical minds and really chew it up and, and have um, a real good idea of what it is that we just experienced. But first we need to have the experience. And to have the experience, the best way to approach it is to drop down out of the mind and deep into the heart and just come from a place of enchantment. To be like a child means to be in wonderment, knowing that you don't know and knowing that you're excited to learn something new each time. And having this spirit about you is essential. We are both guiding these journeys as we go through them and also being guided on these journeys. And so there's this give and take between the creative side of our nature, engaging this creative activity, and also the receptive side of our nature that's experiencing and as if, right? So for now, what I would like you to do is to look at the hour ahead, and I want you to see yourself on a timeline going into a beautiful place in nature and getting fully immersed in this place. And then I'm going to have you look over to your left and there will be steps leading down, maybe 10 steps leading down into this beautiful garden below. And once we get down into that garden below, you'll see in the middle of that garden a beautiful sacred place to journey. And in that beautiful place to journey, this sacred place, we will go inside the center of it, the center room, where you will go and prepare to journey. So all of this to get you to that journey point in this sacred room. And once you're in this sacred room, ready to go, we'll have you tune into your intention for the day. And for this exercise, we're, our intention is to meet with your guide. And before we meet with your guide, which is a connection with your higher nature, that higher level wisdom, we're going to meet with your power animal first, which is that earth guide that's here to support this earth walk. So between the power animal, which is the connection with with the survival and thriving on this planet, the part of our lower nature, supporting and augmenting our lower nature, we're also going to be meeting with your true guide, which is the, the connection to your higher nature. And once we get in and meet with your guide, 
we will do a couple of exercises in the inner world just to give you the experience of uh, engaging with your guide on an endeavor. Because truly, a great part of this work is to go and access your guide. And if you have your guide, you can navigate the inner world safely. And that's one of the important parts of this. In order to have a practice where you are going in into the inner worlds and going into deep places, it is vital that you have an inner mentor, an inner guide, that can support you, that you can ask questions, should I be doing, taking in what they're telling me to take in, or should I do this or do that? They will give you the... Uh, always give you the correct answers. Your true guide will always provide the best possible route given that you ask the correct questions. And we'll get into that more. So go ahead and prepare yourself. And uh, as, I, as I do in my practice when I meditate, I never lie down because I tend to just fall asleep. I sit at the end of my chair with my feet underneath my knees my back straight, my crown drawn up to the heavens, my tailbone drawn down and rooted deeply into the core of the earth. And I can imagine like a tree of life, all of the energy from Mother Earth flushing up through me, enlightening, awakening, just like that. Whoosh. And like a tree of life branching out the energy from Mother Earth, like a geyser of light flushing up through me, branching out, merging with the heavens above, through the ceiling, through the roof, up into the skies, into the heavens, merging with the swirling cosmos above me. And I just let go into that. The shoulders drop down, the chin lightly sinks down, tuning into the heart and the belly with the inner eye. And seeing that swirling light from the earth flushing up through the roots in our feet, deep into the core of the earth, all the way up through the legs, through the thighs, hips, like hollow tubes of light, just letting the light, the wisdom, the power, the, the living awareness of Mother Earth flush through us, up through the spine, up through the center of the body, and all the organs, up through the lungs, up through the, the neck, the throat, the crystal palace, the eyes, the tongue, the ears, all the senses flushing up through the crown, opening like a lotus flower, and branching out like the tree of life, merging with the heavens above, swirling trillions of galaxies of light, lifting you, exalting, empowering you, awakening you, even as your body relaxes down, down, down. Let it go, the shoulders drawn down into the earth as the crown is drawn up. The back of the neck is nice and drawn up. The heart is pushed back, the kidneys are lightly pushed back. Rock the sit bone side to side, off the chair. You can do little spirals with your, with your lower back. Your belly comes forward and in big circles like you're doing hula hoop, back and forth. Just loosen up, do shoulder rolls with the shoulders, back and forward, neck rolls, just to get you ready and relax. Get everything relaxed, starting with the feet, roll the ankles a little bit, knees, relax, the hips relax, the elbows, the wrists, the spine, the neck, the jaws. Good, just like that. And you can imagine the heavenly energy bathing down over you now, like a vortex of light, like a, a waterfall of light pouring down from the heavens. The crown opens up like a lotus flower. You can imagine like throwing the curtains open in a dark room. And all the light just pours in from the trillions of suns, the trillions and trillions of galaxies of suns, of stars. And see it bathe all around the frontal lobe, left and right, left and right, left and right. Good. In the both sides of the brain, left and right hemispheres. Bathing out any darkness that you see in the temples, 
deep into the center of the brain, the limbic system, the hormonal system, just a big open area of pure light, the crystal palace. Smile the light down, invite it to bathe down over you, over the crown, deep into the midbrain and brain stem and spinal column, deep into the cerebellum in the back, the back part of the brain. Swish it with your eyes. Let the light pour down. Turn it brighter now, a thousand times brighter. Just, yeah, let it pour. Ah, that's it, pouring over your whole body. You can widen the, the beam of that light coming from the heavens so it'll engulf your whole body. Back, front, left, right. Effortlessly bathing through every cell like you're a hologram now. You just see the light swirling from the trillions of galaxies of the heavens and spiraling down, funneling down and bathing right through you, right through the heart, through the belly, through the hips, the thighs, the legs, down into the root and spreading, fractaling out through the roots, merging into the core of the earth. And just let it pour through you now and let it draw out of you any tension, noise, dis-ease, discomfort, anything opaque or dark in your body, just let it suck out all that out of you and, and send it down and gift it to Mother Earth, out of the spine, out of the mind, thoughts, all bathing away now. Great. So you can feel the energy flowing up through the roots from Mother Earth and lifting you, exalting you, and branching out and merging with the heavens above. Shoulders relaxed. Arms relaxed. Hands relaxed. Mind relaxed. And let it awaken you. And let that light coming up from the roots be the wisdom of Mother Earth to guide you in this moment to be fully aware and alive and present and empowered in this moment on this planet. And at the same time, the heavenly energy is bathing down over you. It's like being in the apple core of light, one spiraling down from the heavens and one spiraling up from the earth, and the two are spiraling up the center of your being like a barber pole of light, one spiraling up and one spiraling down. That's it, until you create this harmonious truing in your body, like a bicycle wheel is true when it's flowing, when it's spinning in harmony. God. Because I want you to imagine now in the belly, the swirling cosmos around the belly button behind it. Around that central axis of light rushing up from the earth and down from the heavens and harmony. I want you to see a wheel of light of trillions of galaxies swirling in your belly now. This is going to give us that balance we're looking for as we journey. So watch with your eyes as the trillions of galaxies of light swirling in your own belly. Around and around, swirling and expanding into the infinite space within. Keep expanding in all directions. Burning away tension, dissolving the perception of self as a physical being into the infinite universe within, merging creating yourself as a center of the universe. Good. Like that. For your whole body. Expanding into the room and beyond. You can imagine another swirling cosmos in the chest, around the, the heart chakra, the, the uh, solar plex region, just kind of in the middle, lower part of the chest, swirling around an entire universe, swirling in the chest. And as you watch it swirl around those trillions of galaxies of light, they're bathing like a washing machine, just cleansing all the tension, all the noise in there. It's like swirling your hand in, a, in a, an eddy of water that's gotten stagnant. And as the light swirls around and whirl around like a washing machine, ever expanding, it's clearing up all the noise. It's just wiping it out turning up the signals 
of your true nature, your true nature, connected with heaven and earth that is in harmony. Swirling cosmos in the belly, swirling cosmos in the chest, like a column of swirling light, giving you an extraordinary uh, amount of balance in your life in this moment. Like a generator of awareness of consciousness. And as you see the entire universe, you're also bringing in the wisdom of the universe, so connecting with that, that divine force, if you will, cosmic force. And you can imagine again a third universe swirling in the crystal palace of the mind behind the eyes, around and around and around, expanding and expanding into the infinite space within, expanding, dissolving like a balloon blowing up from the inside with pure light until it releases into the ocean of your being, around and around, expanding in all directions. And so you have the three swirling cosmos, we call them in Qigong, we call them the Dantians. And you have these three swirling cosmos, like pinwheel, swirling around the central axis of your being of heaven and earth, swirling through you in harmony, preparing you for the journey ahead. And you could see them as a central column of light. As you breathe in, the light pours in through all the cells of your being and illuminate and empower, energize that central column of light, calling back all the parts of your nature, all the where your mind has been, no matter where in the world it's been, call it all back from the past, the present, the future. And imagine breathing in all these points of light back into the body, breathing in all of the energy from all around you, top to bottom, inside out, breathe it into the core, smile it in, breathe it in through all the cells like they're little windows opening, letting the light pour in, and it flows deep into your core and swirls into the belly like charging a battery with pure life force and wisdom it grows brighter and brighter and you notice you become more and more present and awake and you notice all the noise just washes away all the thoughts and memories like sand castles just dissolving back into the ocean floor this oceanic experience of presence connection. Because I want you to imagine now yourself closing your eyes and seeing yourself in a beautiful place in nature just now. If you were in a place in nature that maybe you've been before, what would it be like? Where would you go today? If you could just teleport to the most beautiful place that makes you feel so enchanted, alive, alert, and excited about life, and relaxed and present at the same time. Where would that be? See yourself here now. Bring in all of your senses. Feel the earth beneath your feet. Maybe take your shoes off. And notice the nature of where you are now. Or 
Are you on the beach, desert, forests, mountains? The more playful, the better for the entire journey. No effort, just play. Really find that excitement for being here now. Turn up the volume on your make-believe. Are you lying back in the beach, in the field, in the woods? Just notice where you are. Smell the air. <sighs> Breathe it in. Breathe in the, the smell, breathe, breathes in the particles of this inner world, informing all of your being about this place. Does it smell damp or dry? Do you smell pine needles or earth? Sea foam? Taking your shoes off maybe and feeling the earth on your feet. Move your feet in the earth. Is it sandy, rocky, dry, moist? Pine needles, grass. Just become aware. Let your imagination awaken. Just like that. Look around, all around your feet, and notice the terrain. Just let it kind of evolve. Like it. Let your mind, let your imagination play. And because it's a place maybe you've been before, or you can imagine going to many times, it's easy to make it up, to just see it now. This beautiful place in nature. Listen to the sounds. What do you hear? Do you hear sea foam or the waves crashing? Or the wind blowing through the trees, the grass? Chirping birds? Listen to sounds bathe over your whole body. Listen with every cell of your being. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Merge into this moment as if you are an integral part of this moment. As much a part of it as the blades of grass bugs, the sun, the waves, the energy flowing through this moment. You are now a part of this moment. Feel the air on your skin. Notice where the sun is in the sky. Enjoy being here now. Take your time. Let it go. Suspending disbelief just for now like you do in a movie. Allow yourself to be enchanted by what appears. Marvel at what is being created all around you that is part of this moment. Yeah, look around. Experience 
expand your field of awareness, if you will, like a sphere of awareness all around you, so that it's as big as the entire inner world in this beautiful place in nature. As if part of you can see yourself as a bigger picture, and also a part of yourself can be right in the center of your being, right in the center of this moment, your experience of this moment, looking out from the heart and the belly and seeing this entire inner world, from the depths of your heart, depths of your being. Because I want you now to look over to your left, and I want you to imagine seeing some stairs, steps going down, down to a beautiful garden below. Imagine yourself going to the top step there. And notice as you step on the steps, what kind of steps are they, if you were to imagine? Are they earth or stone or wood? And notice maybe there's ten steps going down, way below, all the way to this beautiful garden. And as you imagine seeing the garden from here, notice what type of garden you're imagining. Is it formal and symmetrical? Or wild kept and natural? And if you were to say, are there brooks and streams and fountains, waterfalls, or bushes, trees, flowers. Are there any animals, if you were to imagine, rabbits, birds? Butterflies, insects. Whatever you're imagining seeing from here, it's absolutely perfect for you now. And I want you to look in the center of that garden, and I want you to see a sacred place. A beautiful sacred place. It may be a chapel or a temple, or just an open center. And it draws you down into the garden. Imagine being in the center of that garden in that beautiful sacred place. Your secret garden, your secret place to journey. A portal into the inner world. A portal into your guide. To the inner world of insight connection with other beings that are here to support your journey. And right there in that sacred place is where we journey. So go ahead and take a step down to the ninth step. Feel yourself descending down. step below, both feet down, and stepping onto the eighth step, now down, 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 
and feel yourself leaving the upper world behind. Stepping into the seventh step now. Going down, leaving the upper world behind. Tuning more and more to the world below. To this beautiful garden. And stepping down to the sixth step now. Feeling the atmosphere of the garden inviting you in the smells, the sounds, the sensations, the feeling of this beautiful garden draws you down again. And stepping down onto the fourth step now. being embraced by this garden, now three steps, stepping down to the second step, fully connecting with this beautiful garden, if you could step onto the first step now. Just allow your very powerful mind to just make it up. And enjoy it. Down to the floor of the garden now. Notice the earth on the floor. Is there a pathway into the garden from this last step? Is it pea gravel or dirt or grass? steps behind, feeling the fauna, the leaves and the trees, or the leaves and the bushes, grass, placing your hands palm down on the surface of the garden just to receive from the feet and the hands and the ears and the eyes and the soul. Breathe in the nature, the spirit, the garden, as a being, as an experience, as a teacher, as a guide. As a playground to explore, to be immersed in nature. Feeling the energy from Mother Earth flowing up from the core, bathing you up through the atmosphere, bathing you in wisdom, so close to the mind, the soul of Mother Earth. Let it inform, enlighten, empower you. You're swimming in it now. Breathe it in as you walk along. Slowly taking it all in. The sounds of your footsteps in the garden. The sound of nature all around you. Let the atmosphere here engulf you, embrace you. Enjoy this moment. Maybe put your feet in a stream of cold, cool water. Refreshing. Enlightening. Rejuvenating. Mama.
the sun bathes over you in just the perfect way. Let it go. Maybe lying back on the earth and feeling yourself merge into the roots. the door behind you if there is a door, and seeing the pathway and seeing the beautiful garden all around this beautiful sacred place. Closing the door behind you, 
And now, looking around inside of this place, if you're inside, become aware, breathe it in, tune in, notice the walls, the floor. As you walk across the floor, do you hear the sounds of your footsteps echoing over the walls? The scene is it tall ceilings and great walls, or is it nice and cozy and intimate? Is it flooded with light or damp and cozy? Are there paintings on the walls, or is it nice and clean and austere? What's the smell? Do you smell incense and candles, earth and walls? Notice what you see. Make your way to the center of this beautiful sacred place now. Being drawn to the sacred room, this holy room that is where you will journey. A place that only you have access to. Only you can invite your guides and beings that are here to support your highest and best efforts can have access. Good. Making your way into the center. Opening the door if there's a door to this inner room. And looking inside and seeing how perfect this space is for you. Enter and close the door behind you. And to see it, imagine, experience this place if you were to be in the center of a beautiful sacred place now as you are. What would it be like? It's up to you. Imagine the most perfect place for you to journey into the inner realms to take your shamanic journeys to another level. You might see over there on that wall, against the wall, uh, an altar or a table with sacred objects on it that are sacred to you. Maybe you see images of mentors and holy people. Images of your family or you in a good way at the best points in your life. You might see totems or symbols on the altar or the table that remind you of the gifts of this lifetime that you've been offered, that you've received. sacred objects that remind you of the mystic, the mystical, the sacred, within the profane world of everyday life. And they're there to remind you, to reignite the mystery. And you can imagine each journey finding or receiving a memento from that journey, a gift, an elixir that represents the power of that journey you've taken. And you can place it on that altar at the end so that you, each time coming in, will be reminded of what you're learning along the journey. Each time you meet with your guide, each time you journey into the unknown, into the mystery. This could be a place where you collect symbols and keepsakes and reminders like icons on your desktop each time you review them and click on them touch them see them they open 
open up an entire program, a reality that deepens and broadens your own reality. And you can feel it deep in your soul, what it offers, and you can see it in your world, the difference these gifts, these sacred gifts make. So now I want you to turn to the center of the room and I want you to see the place where you will journey today. Maybe it's a beautiful, comfortable chair where you can sit at the end of it and get nice and comfortable. Or it's cushions where you can just sink down into it. Whatever you see, it's just perfect. Maybe it's on a beautiful rug, beautiful cushions. Maybe there's incense, candles. Maybe it's just nice and minimal. And notice the lighting in the room is perfect for you. Good. Go ahead there and get cozy in that center of the room in that journey spot. Let your body sink down into it now, letting the weight of your being <clears throat> sink into the earth and just let go. Let your body let go. Your breath guides you deeper in, and your awareness becomes greater and greater in each breath. The more your body lets go into the cushions of the chair connected with earth and heaven. I want you to call in now beings of light, whether they're saints or ancestors or guides or spirit helpers. I want you to call all the beings that are here for your highest and best good. And imagine you being in the center of a circle beings of light, an unbroken circle of beings that you look all around, they're surrounding you and holding space for you, witnessing this journey today, and invite them to hold this space sacred and protected and guided. You may even imagine a ball of light above your head being your higher nature, your higher self, your amakua. And you can imagine each one has the ball of light above their heads representing their higher nature. And all of them are connected like a wheel around you. All the balls of light are connected with a, a thread of light, a channel of light, open communication between all of them. And all of them are connected to you like spokes on a bicycle wheel to the ball of light above your head. And the light from the heavens bathing down through the ball of light connects all of that wisdom through all of your being down into the earth, up into the heavens, to the depth of your soul. And so as you close your eyes, you can tune into the awareness of all these beings around you, supporting, guiding, informing, enlightening, so that you can take this journey today in a good way. Closing your eyes in this beautiful sacred place, it's now time to tune into your goal for the day, your journey, your focus. And for today, we're going to imagine that we're going and we're going to direct our awareness, our will, to go into the inner world and meet with your power animal, your true power animal, and your true God. And that'll be the goal for the day. It's always important when you go into the inner world to have a goal, to have a focus. Even if that goal or focus is to go in and not have a goal or focus, just be aware of your intentions. Because that ripples through the matrix of the inner realm so it can support you. 
So now I'm breathing in and breathing out and releasing down, connecting with all, relaxing into space. And I want you to imagine yourself now sinking down into the heart, into the belly. And in the belly is a beautiful swirling pearl of light representing your true nature, your infinite being. And I want you to imagine all around you with this beings of light creating like a tube of light around you, protecting you and sending it down into the earth, deep into the earth, this beautiful tube of light surrounding you. And I want you to imagine taking that pearl of light from your belly, just a copy of it, into your right hand, and tuning into it, and tuning into your intention to meet your guide and your power animal. And imagine yourself sinking down now, your feet getting long, your legs getting long, and drawn down, 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 deep into the earth through this tube. And as you get drawn down, you feel yourself flowing down through a tunnel of light, down to the core of the earth maybe, down into a layer of the inner world. And as you tune into the pearl of light in your right hand, it'll take you exactly where you need to. Meet with your guides, meet in the inner world. And as you flow down, you're passing layer after layer after layer, going down stretching deeper and deeper to the earth, going down faster and faster. Ah, the upper world way above now, going down deeper and deeper. Tuning in to the pearl of light and letting it guide you to the right layer of reality until you land. Zoom. You'll feel yourself landing, and it might be nice and dark in here, but you can shine the light, turn it up a thousand times brighter, and it'll illuminate the inner world. And you're still inside of this circle of protection, this field of protection. Open it up so that this tube of light expands to the size of the environment all around you, maybe 50 feet all around so that anything that gets inside of that tube of light uh, is automatically protected and you're protected. Expand it out further and further into the inner world and imagine looking into this inner world now. Feel the earth beneath your feet scrape the ground as a wet and moist or hard and dry. If you were to imagine, are there bushes and trees around you, just like that, let it come to be, and I want you to send your awareness out into the inner world, all around, above, below, in all directions, just become aware fully of the entire inner world, connected, and I want you to send the request that you'd like to meet with your true power animal now. Imagine an animal coming forward. If it's a bird, it flies maybe onto your hand. Or if it's a four-legged, it'll run or walk up to you now. And then imagine with your light, it shines brighter and brighter so you can see all things coming. And it enters into the sacred space now, in the sacred circle. And taking your time. And if you need to pause the recording just to see, just to experience an animal coming. Your intention drives everything, so if you intend in the inner world, you look around and say, telepathically call it in, say, I want to see my true power animal, please come now, and see it appear before you. And imagine what comes to mind. 
If you were to see an animal that is your true power animal, what appears? And when you see an, an animal come, a coin, uh, greet it, welcome it, pet it maybe. And I want you to ask it telepathically, are you my true power animal? It's like an inner handshake we make. Because it's easy for false guides to appear. There is a certain decorum in the inner world. If they're not your true guides or true power animals, they'll, they'll tell you no. Or they may not say anything. So you have to ask them again. And you can find a way to communicate that helps you. Either if you're visual, you might have them nod their head yes or no. Are you my true power? And watch. Or maybe auditory, maybe you can hear them say yes or no. Imagine. Or maybe it's just a feeling. Notice how you perceive. Sometimes I put up a little meter that goes from yes to no, swings from one side to the other. And when they say yes, thank them for appearing, welcome them, and maybe sit down with them or hang out with them and just get to know them. If they don't say anything when repeated questioning, you can release them and thank them for being there. Let them go. And then call in another, your true power in them. I'm really willing to be there. If they say no, thank them and release them. They may have just been curious about you and wanted to check you out, even though they weren't your true your true power animal now, and that intention from the heart will call your animal forward who really wants to meet you, really wants to connect with you consciously. Get to know them. Feel their energy, their nature. type of animal is this? What is their strength? What is their way of seeing the world? And once they've said they are your true animal, your true power animal, ask them if they have a gift for you. They may hand you something, or they may the power over you. Good. Take your time. And if they give you a gift, when they give you a gift, ask them how to use this gift. They'll show you you using this gift in your life in the future or the past. Can they fly high above it and get a big picture? Can they 
baseline deep inside. The matrix of your being. Seeing it from the inside out. Do they run? Or does it feel like to move like they do? To feel what they feel. Breathe it into every cell of your body as information, insight, and power. Let all of your physical being learn from this. Experience take notes. Tune in to how drop into this world. Into the future. Into the inner world. Just now. to come back into your form and see the power in front of you. And really connected between the two of you. There's this deep, beautiful connection. The heavens are bathing over both of you. The earth is flowing up through both of you. And you're both in this beautiful Taurus apple core of light. Connected and it's bathing away any disharmony, any blocks so that you two are fully connected and you can breathe them in and receive the wisdom from this power in. And you can transmit that wisdom through your being out into the world all around you as a, as a power that you possess. A great part of this work in the shamanic is building a spirit team, a team of helpers that augments, that brings our awareness to a much higher level than our own limitations. Enjoy emanating this power now, this wisdom, a very heartfelt level. Connected. All of your mirror neurons feeling a part of this moment, part of this beautiful being before you. Because now I want you to have your power animal stand next to you on your left side, maybe. And I want you to look over to your right now. In the inner world, in this inner terrain, I want you to see this beautiful beam of light standing over there. Maybe they're next to a rock or under a tree, next to a stream. To see them lit up. And I want you to will that this is your true guide true inner God. Imagine this beautiful being that knows you better than you know yourself standing there, that loves you unconditionally, that knows everything you've been through in this lifetime and beyond, and loves you even more for it, for all that you do, all that you strive for, for your empathy for your desire for awakening, for your struggles, for your challenges, for your weaknesses. And they see it all as part of a divine awakening, becoming an adventure of awakening, a journey of an evolution, a transformation. And there they are. Just imagine that they're there now. What would you see? What would you experience? How will they be there right there in front of you? Are they female or male, if you were to say? Just imagine. How are they dressed? 
a suit, shorts, a robe. And imagine being drawn to them now as you and your power animal make your way to them. And tune in from the heart and let them draw you in that love, that unconditional regard. Like coming home again, returning from a long journey to foreign lands, and there before you is a connection with your true home. Find yourself standing before them now, being in their presence, receive. Experience and presence. Let it bathe over every cell of your being, willing that this be your true God now. Call them forward into this moment, into this being before you. Welcome them. See them connected with heaven and earth in harmony, and with all the other realms that will. Guide you, connect you to. Like a gatekeeper, a portal into the multiverse of being beyond this matrix. And maybe hold your hands out in front of you like your palms are up. Towards the sky, and let their palms rest on top of your hands, so you can feel, receive the love from their entire being, and let it flow through your arms, your body, your being. Let them bathe across. Turn it brighter and brighter, louder and louder. Full. Just receive the love that they have for you. Connect with them and ask them, "Are you my true guide?" And listen, watch. And if they say yes, welcome in their guidance, their presence. Typically, a guide's face is hard to see. For some reason, that's normal. But you can get a sense of how they're dressed, maybe, or their stature, their size, their posture. Are they thin, or small, big bone? Are they deeply rooted and connected? Are they very light? Breathe them in, and breathe them out, and let them. Send your beingness into their field. And let them fully experience your nature to reconnect, bringing them in, receiving, and transmitting your own nature back and forth with each breath. Maybe embracing them and hugging them, feeling that reunion connection with your kind. Feeling their presence bathe you and inform and enlighten you, empowering you, awakening. Yeah, just like that, bringing you to new places, awareness, <sighs> sinking deeper and deeper into the moment. Now, if they said they are not your true guide, or if they haven't said anything, you can simply pause the recording in a moment and let them go. Whoever it was that said no, and release them and thank them and see them disappear. And then once again, call forth before you your true guide and see a beautiful beam of light appear, willing that it be your true guide. Taking your time, really taking your time. And in asking them, "Are you my true guide?" and listening, however it is that you experience it, maybe you feel it or hear it, 
ever see them nodding their head just. And when you have them, you can press play and proceed forward. Otherwise, now, with your guide, welcome them and thank them for being here. And feeling the love they have for you and how great it feels to be home here. In their presence, reconnected as a team with your power animal supporting your earth world, with your true God supporting you with the wisdom of the entire universe, with home, with your true nature, with the bigger picture. You can be in this inner world together now, looking around, with your guide on your right side and your power animal on your left, and with this beautiful circle of beings creating a tunnel, a, a big open area of, connect, of protection around you, maybe a sphere at this moment of protection. And now you can tune into the inner world, look around, and notice how good it feels to have your guides there witnessing with you. Because anything that happens in here, you'll be protected. But you'll also have a chance to, the opportunity to con confer with them, to talk with them about what you're experiencing. So that you don't have to wonder, you don't have to go in blindly into the inner realm. Because here in this inner realm, you can meet with all manner of information, of of beings to enlighten, to empower you, to inform you about your life, the world ahead, or whatever it is you're dealing with in the world. Your guide can take you on journeys. Sometimes I go in and say, you know, to my guide, I have this issue in my life. What do I do? And sometimes they'll just show me a scene that explains what to do. Other times they may grab my hand and take me up into the sky on this journey across the oceans, jungles. And the wonderful thing about it is through the entire process, I don't know what's going to happen next. I don't know why we're doing what we're doing. I do have a focus on a particular part of my life that holds the experience. But I let go of knowing, dropping me to my heart, and just like a child taking the journey, allowing my guide to support me, to guide me along the journey. Knowing that my guide is a part of my being on an ultimate level as a part of, that is in coherence, that is, that is in support of my highest and best aspirations in this lifetime. So as they guide me into the inner world based on a directive that I've offered them, maybe I'm having a challenge with some part of my everyday life. And then they lead me along a path or fly me to a place or we just appear in a new place. I just take the ride with the trust of my guide that they will take care of me, that they will guide me. And it isn't till the end, usually, that I, I understand on some level why we took the journey we did. And for today, we can... There is another way we can work with our guides. Sometimes it's simply just to go there and be in their presence. Have you ever been around someone you really admired? And just being in their presence changes you. And maybe for weeks after, you feel their presence. It's as if their energy bathes over you and informs you on a cellular level. And you feel 
different, better, maybe. You feel like you have their presence supporting you. Sometimes I go in and just bathe myself with my guide's awareness so that I kind of recalibrate, let go of whatever noise and confusion I might be in. Or I might even call in an archetype, a being before me. Let's imagine today calling in the sun as a being. Imagine calling out into the, the inner world for the sun to appear. And you could see the sun come down out of the sky and appear right in front of you as a being. Just like that. In the inner world, your will is the command of the in, of all. It's playful. It's effortless. And there is this, the sun. Notice how they appear. They jovial, tall, short. How does it feel being in their presence? Just let it happen. And I want you to imagine greeting them and forming a relationship, a connection with them now. Your guide and your power animal witnessing, supporting you. And feel the sun bathe over you, the wisdom and the power of the sun, the creative force awareness, enlightenment, maybe even shapeshift into the sun, and see yourself before you as a sun and your guide on your right and your power animal on your left. See what it is to experience you from the position, the, the perception of the sun. of a celestial body and all the other cells as planets heavenly bodies and all the beautiful beings inhabiting these celestial bodies and the spaces between and there before you is this beautiful earth being with their guide and their power animal bathe them in the light of the heavens and the earth and give them something to support their journey in this lifetime as a gift of gratitude, of grace, a gift of knowing. Coming back into your being now with your guide on your right and your power animal left, see the sun before you offering you a gift, welcoming the gift in, and asking them, what is the gift for? How do I use it in my life? Maybe they show you in the future using it or in the present moment using it. Does it bring insight, awareness, fortitude, power, courage? transformation show gratitude for this gift maybe even put this gift in. let them put it in a certain part of your body so that you always have access to it icon on your desktop, you can always click it and allow the power of it to take over and to inform you and to 
run through you. And thank them for this gift now. And know that at any time you can always come back to this inner place and call them in to ask them questions about your life, about your path. Or simply to be in their presence and let it bathe over every cell of your being to transform you. To burn on all the impurities of your being that are ready to let go, to cauterize, to dissolve all of the cords that are draining you from others. To burn away the impurities of what's not real for you. Maybe even merging back into the center of the sun and just seeing it burn away all that is not real and they just fall like ashes to the earth so that your true being of light can inhabit your cellular being and inform your una apili, your basic self, your animal nature that guides the majority of your human experience. Bathe it into the light, let it recalibrate, tune into the wisdom of the sun. Ah, and emanate and transmit that light into all the world around you. To the inner world, the outer world, to your space, your body, your mind, your reality. Let it burn away the impurities of what's ready to be let go of into all the blocks, into all the pain, into all the problems, into all the dis-ease, burning so bright that it just dissolves all of that, between relationships that are not in harmony, until the, the harmony between you and others is complete, is in harmony with heaven and earth. Dissolving all of the noise, turn up the volume to the sacred now. That frequency, that sound, that light. Dissolving all the impurities of what's not real, what's not essential, what's not sacred within the profane, everyday world, within the inner, the outer. Tune in and turn on. Receive and transmit. Breathe in, receive and transmit. Find and find her. And tuning into the wisdom of your guides, allow them to support your awakening into your true nature. With each breath, with each journey, with each step you make along this path, in all your relations, in all time and space, in all dimensions, all realities, releasing all the contracts, the agreements that bound you to worlds that don't support your purpose, your journey in this lifetime, burning away all that is not real. Releasing all agreements, all promises that do not serve your higher purpose in this life. To breathe in, to be bathed from the heavens like a golden shower of awareness from the sun, from the heavens. Being bathed in the awakening to your true purpose on this planet and let it bathe into the cells of your being. And as you go on through your days, it, the cells of your being will, will remember, will connect, will reassemble, will, will form into, be informed by, enlightened by this wisdom. The 90 something percent of your being will start to transform naturally. And all the cells of your being that are not in harmony will slough off and all the being, the cells in your being that are in harmony will grow and prosper and form the new light body, physical, metaphysical, energetic, emotional, intuitive, 
sensations, all the nerves, and in your mind, and all your thoughts, they tune in to this truth of your divine nature. Call in your higher self as a being of light to come into your body now and to let your body let go into the light connected with heaven and earth in harmony your conscious self your subconscious and unconscious nature your higher nature all in harmony just like that thanking your guides for holding the sacred space thanking the sun for coming in and bringing this wisdom releasing the sun back into the sky and retaining all of the gifts and wisdom provided. Maybe there's a certain memento that you have from this moment that you could hold in your hand or place in your body. Embracing your guide and thanking them for this journey and knowing that each time you come in here and meet in this place is a new journey. And your intentions for each journey will guide what takes place. Allow yourself to be open to the mystery unfolding, knowing that you're protected by two beings that are here for your highest and best beyond any other being. They know you so well. They know where you come from, where you're heading, where you are. They know best how to guide you forward. And in the process, simply trust your experience. Thanking them, hugging your power animal maybe, petting it, thanking it for being there, and letting them know that you intend to come back into this inner world to meet with them often when you have questions or need insight or simply need to come in and be reminded of who you really are. Or maybe here to bring in another archetype, like the fool, part of your nature, to see how they are, and then to bring them in harmony, to bathe them in the light of heaven and earth, and to recalibrate, to redeem each part of your nature so that they all function in harmony within you. As you become the conductor of the orchestra, of the symphony of your being, awakening and allowing your guide to support your leading, creating self, your mercurial, shamanic, magician, inner sorcery, if you will, in a good way, in a way that's in harmony with the heavens, in a way that's in harmony with the earth, not to bring power that creates imbalances in your life, but to bring a power of connection with all beings and reciprocity and harmony, mutuality. As you rise into your awareness, into your true nature, into your true power, so do all beings. You hold space for all beings to awaken as you awaken. And your guides will help you do this. So now tuning back and thanking them, and we're going to depart now. And I want you just to release them, thanking them, and letting them go back to their lives, knowing that they're always here for you, and tune into that pearl of light in your belly, and I want you to look up above yourself and see yourself in that sacred room way up there at the surface, in that sacred room, in that sacred place in the middle of the garden, and just imagine seeing yourself up there and seeing the pearl of light in your belly up there and send a a thread of light down from the pearl, down through the earth, down into the inner world here, down through your crown, down through your body, into your pearl, connecting with your pearl in your belly. 
and looking around and saying goodbye one last time. And when you're ready, tug on that that line, that light, and it'll zip you up, up through the tunnel of light, up into your body on the surface in the sacred room. And now you're back in the sacred room, and you can look down and see that you're no longer down there, but you can see your power animal way down in that inner realm of your guides and the whole terrain down in that layer of reality in the inner world below. Always connected. Always can zip right back down there when you will. But for now, come back into the sacred place. See the beings of light as you open your eyes. Look around and see them holding space for you. Slowly wiggling in toes and fingers and and maybe walking over to that table or altar and taking a copy of maybe the, what the sun gave you or some symbolic memento of this experience and putting it on the table. Because each time you come in in the future, you'll see that and it will remind you of what experiences you had here so that it isn't forgotten. It's remembering each time. And it holds that light sacred even more so in this room. And the more journeys you have and the more sacred objects are on the table, the deeper it becomes your experience, becomes yours. And the more you do this, the more all parts of your being will look forward to this experience, will look forward to the journey ahead. Because now I want you to leave the sacred place behind and come back into your physical body now, moving your physical fingers, your physical toes, your ankles, your neck, your shoulders. Breathe into this moment, come back into the room you're in now, come back into the space, come back into this moment where you are in this matrix, on this planet in this body, in this lifetime, and sensing your guide's presence here, inviting their wisdom and your power animal's wisdom. Look around your room now and invite their presence and you can see that they're here. And you could spread them out and send them into your entire world so that they're aware of your world and that you're aware of their presence. So you always are being informed and enlightened and guided by them. And as you get more and more comfortable with their nature, just like any person, if you have somebody you know so well, you can just hear their voice on the phone and you know it's them. Not just the sound of their voice, but by their nature, their tempo coming through. It's the same with your guides. The more you get to know them, the more you know them so well. So you can ask them questions, even if you're with another person, and you can imagine them there by you. And you say to them, are you my true guide? And they say, yes. And they say, I have a question. Or give me, give me an answer. Give me some insight. Without needing to go into the inner world. But most often, it's good to go into, take the journey into the inner world, to take that ritual, that journey because you are different as you seek down into the inner world. You're different as you go through the process. So that by the time you get to your guide, you have transformed from busy mind or being involved in the outer world to then going into the inner. Very often, the challenge I believe most people are having with getting into the journey work is simply allowing themselves to recognize where they're at where their brain is functioning, maybe high beta level, very fast brain waves, and then breathing and slowing down the brain waves and, and visualizing going into an inner world so it awakens your imagination, that, that um, ability we have. And then you start dropping into low alpha, which is super high learning state. And then you drop into this receptive state of theta, which is kind of, they call it a hypnagogic state, where you're relaxed, comfortable, aware of the room around you, but very much focused on your inner experience. And taking the journey and dropping down into the inner world 
will get you to that state so that when you get to your guide, you are receptive. You're in a good place to communicate with them. So I hope you enjoyed this journey, and I look forward to taking it to the next level. We will be coming back in, meeting with your guides and your power animal. We will invite them into your world and further courses. But for now, this is a beautiful place to start. Meeting your guide, if there was only one thing I could teach, would be this. Have a wonderful, enchanted day. Bye-bye.